John Hill, CEO for TechSage Solutions, back on the strategic planning deck again. Cheers. We had a great time in Galveston, and I enjoyed recording some thoughts from the beach, but it's good to be back right here in San Antonio. Before Galveston, I was discussing some general factors about risk assessments, but today I'll go into some of the more detailed steps that you can take when doing your own internal risk analysis. First, you need to evaluate the likelihood and the impact of potential risk. Next is a critical step that many companies don't do. You have to assign ownership of the risk to a team member. As a group, you then have to implement the appropriate security measures to specify and address the risk identified in your risk analysis. The assigned owner of the risk must then document the security measures that were decided on to address the risk and the rationale for adopting the security measures. Your key motivator for getting a risk assessment for your business should be to figure out how you can effectively reduce your liability while maintaining or growing your business. The cyber threat landscape is growing much more difficult to protect yourself from every single day. Since the Russian invasion of the Ukraine, it's growing worse even faster, so you really need to know where your risks are and develop a plan to reduce or eliminate as many as possible. If you'd like to schedule a short, free consultation with me to discuss why you need a cybersecurity risk assessment for your business and how you can get one, please go to www.techsagesolutions.com. If you want to take a look at my book that discusses why your business must have cybersecurity risk assessments in depth, go to the link shown with this recording. Let's talk soon. Until then, stay safe and avoid cybersecurity risk. Thanks for joining me today for my thoughts from the deck. If you found it useful, please feel free to share it with your friends.